So you're invited to a last minute costume party, but you don't have a costume. Well, there are lots of looks you can create with clothes that you might already have in your closet, so today I'm going to be showing you my classic cat look. And for this, the most important thing is the makeup, because when you have a simple costume, makeup can really bring it to life. And I'm already starting with my foundation, concealer, concealer and pressed powder already on my face. So first things first, I'm going to be priming my eyelids so that my eyeshadow and eyeliner stays all night long and I'm just using my Gosh Velvet Touch eye primer for that. And then we are going to be doing what else but some thick cat eyeliner. And I'm just lining both of my eyes pretty thick and I am using my Maybelline Master Eye Duo uh, Black Liquid Eyeliner. Blah, 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 eyeliner, if I can say it right. And how I usually like to do the corner is to kind of like outline it first and then fill it in afterwards because I just find it's easier to create like kind of like a sharp like point at the end if I just outline it and fill it in. And then once you're done with that, I'm just taking my Rimmel Scandal Eyes big eye pencil in like a, a shiny white color and highlighting my inner corner. And then using a stick eyeliner, mine's from Avon, and just kind of lining the outer part of my waterline. And then of course applying vigorous amounts of mascara to the top lashes. And I'm just using my Maybelline The Rocket and you can't forget about those little baby lashes down there. Oh yeah, that's what we got so far. So now on to the rest of the face. So I'm going to be using my NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in Milk to kind of fill in the space in between my nose and my upper lip. And then I'm just going to blend it out with my fingers just a little bit so the transition from white to my skin color is a little more smooth. And then I'm just kind of creating a white stripe slash highlight kind of thing underneath um, my eyes and kind of like spreading it out towards my temples I guess and then creating little ghost whiskers and I call them ghost whiskers because they're white and they're kind of just like highlights for the whiskers that are going to be on top of them later and it's hard to get them exactly the same so I mess them up a little bit and now we're going to be using the same liquid eyeliner as I did for my eyes and creating the nose and I just kind of like trace the outline of my nose see how it's not really a um it's not really a straight line it kind of like goes down where the bump goes down and then you just want to go ahead and fill all of that in meow 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 so with the same eyeliner you just want to draw a line from your nose all the way down to your lip and then actually onto your lip because we are going to be filling in our top lip with that eyeliner so that we get those black cat lips and to um, create even more of a cat lip. We're just going to extend the corners a little bit so we get that little that creepy little cat smile and then we make a little mini bottom lip with the eyeliner on our bottom lip and conceal the rest of the bottom lip because cats don't really have full lips so we're just gonna make mini ones. And then using the stick eyeliner we're going to put like little dots above our lip and then you can just kind of like blend it out a little bit until you're happy with it. And then comes contouring! Because cats have really structured noses, so we're just going to contour the sides of our nose. And I'm using number three in that gosh palette that I just showed you guys there. And I'm also using it to almost create a gray stripe underneath of the white stripe that I created earlier. And then I'm also going to be blending it into my crease and kind of pushing it outwards so that it meets the end of the white stripe that I already had there. And then you can just kind of go crazy with it and make some more stripes. I did some on my cheeks and I actually went up a little bit onto my forehead as well. And now comes the best part, the whiskers. So you can just make some whiskers with your liquid eyeliner and look at that, we're looking more cat-like all the time. And now onto the hair. So honestly, cats, um, they don't really have hair, so you can pretty much do anything that you want. I just kind of took mine in a ponytail and left it kind of messy, and I don't know how you guys feel about this, but a cat's not really a cat without any cat ears. And if you're like me and you had no cat ears anywhere, you can either find a mask like this one that has ears on it, um, but it kind of, I got this one at Target, but it kind of covers up some of the makeup, so I decided to figure out a way to make some cat ears out of my own hair. So it is a little bit hard to see because I didn't realize it was kind of out of the frame, but what you have to do is just kind of take a little, a little, say a little spice, a little piece of your hair and just kind of braid it as tight as you can 
and then just kind of fold it into a point and you might have to fiddle with it a little bit to get it into the shape that you want but once you get it into kind of like the shape then you just have to bobby pin the bottom of the braid down to your hair like that and then do it to both and that's what it should look like and then you definitely want to hairspray those babies like there's no tomorrow because if you're going to be out all night then you don't want them to be falling down or anything so that is it that is the completed cat look so now all you have to do is throw on some black clothes and you are ready to go. So if you guys like this video, please be sure to give it a big old thumbs up down there and comment below what you thought and if you want to see any other specific looks from me. And also, if you decide to try this out at home or anything, please make sure to treat me with the hashtag Falloween because I would love to see your guys' recreations of this look. And also, this is the winner of my most recent giveaway. So you have just won my a fall haul giveaway. So you have two weeks to send me a message on YouTube and if you don't message me then I'll have to pick another winner sorry about that but anyways that is the end of this video guys I will see you guys soon with a brand new video and that is it bye